chasing an air leak on an M54 engine, and a common spot that leaks is the diaphragm on the diesel flap. This is the diesel flap, which is easily replaceable. One quick check is to spray some brake clean. And a lot of times, of course, I'm not going to do it right now because I just did it. The engine RPMs will actually go up. One of the best ways to check the system for air tightness is to do a smoke test with a smoke machine. But this unit is very common to cause a leak as well as the intake boot at the elbow for the idle air control valve for the boot to actually be torn right at this elbow. Uh, to replace this, have to press on the locking tab which is back here to release the electrical connector. You have two Torx screws, one up top and one right under here. And I've already removed the Torx screws are T40s which I've already removed. This unit slides right out. This is the diesel flap which is actually broken. It should have tension on it. And this is actually kind of common also. That can cause a reduced power when you have this flap that's actually broken on the Diza. This is what it should look like. It should have good tension all the way around. This is another seal that often fails. And during a smoke test, you can see smoke venting right from this area. Or sometimes when you spray it with brake clean, you can get the engine to react. The only thing with brake clean is that the DME can um, adapt so quickly that sometimes it's not a very good test and having a smoke test done is really the best way to find a leak. So this just pops right, pushes right back in and I'm just going to install my two torque screws, put the plug back on, clear my faults and recheck. After replacement of my diesel flap, the engine's running nice and smooth. That was the main source of my air leak, my unmetered air leak.